What's good, fam? It's Omni Tiller back with another video. Um, actually, I'm back with a video that I already did, a part one two. But I asked you guys, should I finish this video? And all of you, most of you, said, yeah, go ahead and finish it, bro. Um, so yeah, without further ado, this is why rappers are afraid or are scared of Kendrick Lamar. Part two for me. Uh, without further ado, if you haven't already, go check out part one that I did. Um, I'm gonna use the same thumbnail again. So, yeah, let's get straight to it. This continue. We only got five minutes left. About five minutes left. A little bit over. On Fig because Kendrick thought he was from a rival neighborhood. Hey, you wanna know a crazy thing about Kendrick, bro? My first encounter with him, he thought I was somebody else, bro. He he low key trying to press me. Oh. Kendrick Lamar. Who do you think you was? He's from a different hood. I guess like I guess some niggas jumped him back in the day and I came to the studio and he was mad. He was like, Hey, you from Almond Block? And I was like, nah, but he was hot. He bad on the back. Where's Almond Block? No, he, no, Almond Block is another hood of Compton. Mm -hmm. And I was like, nah, I ain't from Almond Block. I thought you were lying. And he was oh. like, you live from Almond Block. I'm like, nah, I ain't from Almond Block, I'm over here. He, he, he was he, like, alright, and then we was cool after that. But, it, but, but he, he was like, oh, alright. No, he was mad. Yeah, <laughs> he was he was like he was mad like like yeah. I, if I was Marlon Block, he would have got his get back on me that day. From the gang members which regularly appear in his music videos, the musical appears like mustard, proving that they'll throw away any other relationship to ride for his Cali comrade. Dot's status as King of the West Coast. Bruh, so basically I think that was A D. I wanna say that's what his name is. So basically he's saying Kendrick is like was like that, you know what I'm saying? He's saying that if he wasn't from where he say or if he was from, it would have been it would have been some smoke. Do y'all believe that? Let me know in the comment section below. Not saying I don't take his word for it, but hey. and everything that entails it would make anyone think twice before coming at him. But while there was speculation that Kendrick wasn't to be taken lightly, it's safe to say that this Drake battle has made that crystal clear. Although OVO stands like Maul or academics may argue otherwise, there's no denying that Kendrick washed Drake. Bearing the music itself, the fact that he overthrew Drake's record for the highest streams for a rap song in a day, with a track where he calls him a sex offender, is just diabolical. Now, fans are waking up to the fact that he just wasn't to be messed with. I knew Kendrick Lamar was a dude that needed to be left alone when that video of him doing burpees in a parking lot while listening to old these drops. Something is clearly wrong with him. Look at this fucking psychopath. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say psychopath. Just one thing, joke. Like, oh man, but... We just, I don't know if this dude is serious. He could be when he's saying all this, but I don't believe them. I don't believe K Dot is a psychopath. Um, it's one thing to be disciplined, and it's one thing to be a psychopath. You know, so I don't know how you feel about that. His willingness to take a rapper out aside, what's happening to Drizzy these days further explains to why he wasn't challenged before now. Because while people have been throwing jabs at Drake for years, it doesn't matter if they don't hit the general public. But with Kendrick, you have a rare mix of someone who isn't just obscenely skilled, but also has the platform to slander you and reach huge audiences. It's the fear of embarrassment. He's a better rapper than almost everyone in the industry skill-wise. He can do both mainstream and underground style music when most artists just choose one and never change. Because he can immortalize you any negative light in the form of a classic hit. If you needed proof that this is a real thing, just look at this school teacher's comments about the change in tone around Drake in the wake of Not Like Us dropping. I, up until today, taught at a very Drake-centric high school. Rich Baby Daddy is the most frequently requested song to put on my class playlist. If I ask students what they're listening to in their headphones, Drake. The week after the leak was a nightmare. But today, I walk in and I can feel that the- The week after the leak, if they talking about the reference what Drake said, ain't no big three, it's only big D in this video proof. This 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 for a school teacher to have to address this in school is that's crazy, man. Do y'all believe what Kendra said though in Meet the Grams? He said they be uh, streamlining people, calling them tender, then leak videos of themselves to further push their agenda. Do y'all believe that? This is looking crazy right now, man. It's been a tectonic shift. Oh my God. This is a Kendrick school now. I pulled my classes on what they thought and they were ready to throw down for Kendrick. 
I had like one drink defender in each class, if that. And honestly, I feel bad for those kids because they were getting screamed at. As people move to the sides, yes, even to Drake. I think I just misunderstood what she was talking about when I, when she said leak. <laughs> but uh, if I wasn't, let me know. But um, that's crazy, bro. People, y'all think y'all do y'all think people switched up on on Drake, or do y'all feel like? Oh, do y'all feel like it wasn't necessarily a switch up? Just Kendrick just won, you know. Pockets. According to Billboard, from May 3rd to May 6th, Lamar's discography earned around 50 million streams, up 49% from the previous Friday to Monday tracking period. Meanwhile, Drake's overall catalog is actually down. When you similarly compare his streams from that weekend to last weekend, and remove his two streaming available response tracks, push-ups, and family matters. Although Kendrick won't overtake Drake's streaming numbers as a whole, what is clear is that Kendrick's versatility has proven to be a weapon, and as Eminem suggested earlier, one- I don't know about that, though. I don't know about that. I feel like if Kendrick dropped, if, if he started being more, like, I'm not going to say consistent because it's okay to drop an album one, two, three, every three years, every five. I mean, however you want to do it. If it's a classic, it's a classic. But it, I feel like if Kendrick dropped, like, three albums a year for, like, three years straight and Drake... <laughs> Don't drop an album like a three every uh for another year or two, or even if he does, I feel like Kendrick could. If he does what I just said, I feel like Kendrick absolutely could catch Drake. I don't care what you say, I feel like he can. I'm not, I don't, nobody thought they could catch MJ until it happened. Reasons why it's not advisable to test him you go through all these records from like that to euphoria to 616 in la to meet the grams to not like us none of those records sound the same at all it's the widest range i've ever seen in the amount of time in any disc battle ever when it comes to the rapping and the music nice. fuck all like the timeline or what's true and what's not true who's rapping and who is putting out the better records kendrick lamar that's facts bro Facts. Every fucking box sonically that you could think of. From his pen game to his potential gang ties, there are lots of reasons why Kendrick is feared. But the biggest reason of all should be how seriously he takes his craft. I'm so passionate about hip hop, man. Like, I don't know what era everybody else come from, but I listen, man. Like we play house parties, bro, every night. I love it to a point I can't even describe it. And when I heard these artists say they're the best coming up, I said, I'm not doing it to have a good song. Mm -hmm. Or one good rap, or a good hook, or a good bridge. I want to keep doing it every time, period. And to do it every time, you have to challenge yourself, and you have to confirm to yourself that you're the best, period. Is it so he's telling you, man, it's quality over quantity. You can have a million albums, and if only two, two or three of them are um, classics, what's the point? What are you chasing at that point? And I'm not saying that's what Drake is doing, but I'm being honest, like, Every album that Drake has, and y'all might get mad at this, is not a classic. That's just my opinion. It might have numbers, but I don't think all of his albums are classic. That's just me. You might disagree with me, but it is what it is. It's a responsibility he feels to uphold standards, as well as why Drake taking the culture without giving back bothers him so much. This is not something you just play with, you know, get some few dollars and get out, you know. People live their lives to this music. It's my partners in the hood right now. They listen to rap every day because it's the only thing that can relate to their stories and their tribulations. You have to take in consideration what you write down on that paper. And if you're not doing it to say the most impactful, you're doing it to be the best you can be for the listener. What are we doing? What are we doing here? Always one to keep his sword sharp. Kendrick would never allow himself to lose with that kind of mindset. In a genre where other rappers lose their hunger over time, k has always stayed as determined to prove himself as when overly dedicated drops. At the same time, never bothering anyone unless he feels provoked. To explain why Kendrick is among the most feared rappers of any era, we need to borrow a phrase that dates back to Roman times. If you want peace, prepare for war. Whether you may realize it or not, Kendrick stays ready. And after destroying Drake, he's- I'm be real, bro. I'm not taking nothing from the Romans, you know? I'm not taking nothing from the Romans. This, ain't, this video ain't about that, but shout out to Kendrick Lamar on the damn album. He spoke truth, man. He spoke truth. Especially on the end of the uh, duck word, not the end of the duck word, but uh, I believe it's fear. It's one of those, man. He said he is like 
And he said that on y'all. You know what I'm saying? But hey, listen. This video, I'm glad I finished it. He really bought himself a whole lot of that coveted peaceful life for decades to come. Unless someone is stupid enough to ignore these warnings and try him again. Yo, man. I'm glad y'all requested me to finish it because it was going in a direction. It seemed like it was going in a direction that I necessarily didn't want to react to. But after actually finishing it, I appreciate the people that actually requested that I finish it. You know, um, it was a good video. It was a good, it was a good fa uh, last five and a half minutes. Uh, he touched a lot of bases that need to be touched. So, if y'all have any more requests, let me know in the comment section below. And Kate, I feel like a lot of people in Kendrick Hood, uh, I don't think he see him as like. Oh, we gang members. He, I mean, he said um, on one of his albums, you know, the Paru stuff. But I feel like it's family. In my opinion, I can't speak. I don't. I don't know him personally. But I feel like it's it's more family than anything. Um, so yeah, let me know if you got any more requests, and I'm out.